Well, hello everybody. Welcome to your language teaching and learning channel. My name is Santiago and uh, we're still going to continue talking about music this video and probably the next one too for sure. Just like to apologize because in the last video I made a little, there was a little mishap there. I had mentioned Cat Stevens and uh, one of his famous songs, uh, A Father and Son, there are others, Lady Garbandio, uh, Wild World and so on. And I also included The Year of the Cat. And of course, Cat Stevens, The Year of the Cat. The Year of the Cat is actually a uh, Stewart, uh, who has other great songs too, like Time Passages. So I'm sorry about that little uh, mistake there. And um, I will uh, not use cheat sheets anymore because they confuse me a bit. Uh, this is the last video that I'll, that I'll make, uh, starting out with bad news, okay? Uh, this week, uh, well, we've learned a few people passing away, for example, Spencer Davis from the Spencer Davis group. Uh, they were popular in the beginning at the time of the Beatles, like 64 or so on, something like that. Uh, they have a song called, uh, among many others, Give Me Some Loving. And if you had the opportunity to watch the Blues Brothers, the movie, they actually do a cover of that song, Give Me Some Loving, which is a nice cover. Unfortunately, they don't finish it because people at the bar start throwing beer bottles at them. So, uh, Another person was Tony Lewis from The Outfits. And the uh, most famous song, I think, is I Just Wanna Use Your Love Tonight. And um, last but not least, uh, my uh, dear little younger brother, rest in peace. And uh, I'll be joining you in the future, I'm sure. But meanwhile, rock on with all the great ones that have uh, are already out there. And uh, well, uh, last week we stopped uh, at Kiss. We were talking about Kiss. And we're going to continue now with Led Zeppelin, okay? And the Led Zeppelin was not exempt from, remember we were talking about the satanic rumors and so on and so on. And if you watch the movie, uh, the song remains the same. In the introduction, when uh, they focus on Jimmy, Jimmy Page, you can see him, he's uh, sitting on a rock, kind of like meditating, and when he looks at the camera, you can see like psychedelic and stuff. So the rumor was that he was into black magic, and this was the reason why he was such an excellent guitar player and things like that. Uh, they had a lot of bad luck as a group, uh, and many people attributed that to the fact that Jimmy Page was into black magic. Uh, they lost a little money from their concerts, they got robbed. Um, unfortunately, uh, 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 Robert Plant's uh, son passed away, and uh, five, he was five years old. And their last studio album they made, In Through the Outdoor, uh, one of the songs there, All My Love, Beautiful Ballad, was actually dedicated to, to his son. And then shortly afterwards, uh, John Bonham, the drummer, uh, passed away too in 1980. I think that's when they decided to break up. And uh, the last album uh, was uh, Cora, which is a compilation of uh, songs, studios, songs, recordings that had not been put into albums. But anyway, in the case of Led Zeppelin, they didn't have any problems naming their albums. Led Zeppelin 1, oops, the back was Led Zeppelin 2. Led Zeppelin 3, beautiful blues music and everything. And of course, Led Zeppelin 4, uh, uh, Black Dog, Stairway to Heaven, remember they won the, uh, the court uh, thing there. This is, um, of course, when uh, Robert Plant's uh, son passed away, okay? Um, uh, the song remains the same. And, of course, we have Presents. And finally, okay, in through the outdoor, which is the album that we're going to talk about today a little bit before we continue. Now this came in a paper bag and then there was the album. And inside the album, of course, you have this and uh, the cover of the album here, of the LP. And there are different colors here, you see. Where the rumor was at the time that if you spill different uh, liquids on, the co on this cover, it will turn different colors, and that's why we have the water here today, okay? Now, imagine doing something like this in the 1900s, you know, definitely satanic. When this came out in 79, we knew it was chemistry and stuff, and of course now, uh, well, although some people at the time did think that, but now I'm sure we all understand what it's all about. We're going to try this, okay? This album came out in 79, so it's 40 years later. This is just tap water, I don't think it's magic potion or anything and so I'm just gonna 
put a little bit of this on the tip of my finger, and uh, you decide where you want me to put it. Right here? Okay, let's try to place it. Let me put this here. Okay, let, oh my goodness, look at that. You see it? It turned red. Okay, so, and that was the idea. If you see here, you have yellow. Okay, and as I mentioned here, look, you have green, uh, blue, and depending on yellow, and the kind of liquid you, you, you spill in different places, it turns different colors, and you can see this one turned red. Okay, so it's not satanic, it's just very interesting fact about that. That album there, and remember, they also have the, uh, the song Hot Dog there, which is not a typical Led Zeppelin song, right? Then we continue, we get into Madness One Step Beyond, okay? And then into Real Rock here, uh, Meat Loaf. I think this is, I think this was the, his first album, or their first album, and I think it's the best. But Out of Hell, and the power of his voice is incredible. Uh, nice mix of balance and rock here. Uh, Paralyzed by the dash, Dashboard Light, famous here. Balance, you have Heaven Can Wait and for Crying Out Loud. Listen to Crying Out Loud and you can see how his voice range changes from very nice soft to very high. Beautiful music there. Men at Work, of course, very famous. And remember we mentioned at the time, uh, the musicians started like, you know, going solo because obviously they realized they can make more money that way. Uh, David Lee Roth, we mentioned from Van Halen. And Mick Jagger was no exception, okay? I don't know if the, he made any more albums, but this one, I think, was the first one. Uh, she's just a boss, as a solo artist. Give me just another night with you. That's uh, one of his most famous songs from there. And then, of course, this one here. I was not really a fan of uh, Michael Jackson, but I did buy this album for two reasons, okay? One of them, is the fact that uh, there is a song here called The Girl Is Mine, it's a nice ballad, and it's a duo with Paul McCartney. And being a Beatle fan, of course, Paul McCartney. It's a song about them arguing about a girl. Uh, good hits here, Billie Jean beat it and so on, but the other reason why I bought it is because of the song Thriller. And not specifically because of the song, but because in the middle, there is that voice, right, that introduces in the dark and so on and so on, which is similar to Iron Maiden's 666, right? Woe to you, O Earth and Sea. That is the voice of Vincent Price, and he was really, really famous uh, uh, about horror movies and things like that at the time, and that's the reason I bought the, that album, is because he, his voice is there, right? And he has a lot of horror, he had a lot of horror movies. Uh, he was considered the king of horror at the time, right? So that's the reason why I bought that album. Okay, then we get into uh, this one here, the Moody Blues Long Distance Voyager, excellent uh, album too. Then uh, we get into this one here, Motley Crue. Okay, this is later, this is actually a little later on. And here they have excellent songs too, and they have an excellent uh, cover of Helter Skelter by the Beatles. Okay, then you're going to ask me, what is that album doing there? Yeah, this is Olivia Newton-John. Actually, before she became famous in Greece and everything else, singing with John Travolta, she used to sing ballads and uh, um, country music. Very nice album, very nice voice given to me by a friend there. Then, of course, we have Paul Simon. Okay, uh, beautiful music that, uh, well, uh, Simon and Garfunkel made, right? And then we get to one of the classics, okay, which is Phantom Comes Alive, Peter Phantom, right? Uh, Show Me The Way, beautiful Gibson guitar there. And then we get into, of course, Pink Floyd, right? Pink Floyd, uh, they had, they started in the 60s, remember? And then they started getting more famous here with uh, The Dark Side of the Moon, correct? Then you have Wish You Were Here, the, well, I think one of their most famous, The Wall, okay, which is a... Uh, a double album, all right, and the last one I bought from them is The Final Cut, okay, and then after Pink Floyd we get into The Police, okay, and here we have Zenyatta Mondata and Ghost in the Machine, this is the first album that they didn't use that, a weird name. Now, in the case of The Police, I remember them specifically for two reasons, first of all they had The Police Picnic in Toronto in the summer. It must have been 1984, could have been the first one. And uh, it was great because it, it took place in the CNE Stadium. 
and uh, you went there 9, 10 in the morning and you had different music groups all day long until finally they showed up at the end, like around 10 o'clock in the evening. And there was a whole bunch of real good groups all along, all day. And that's where I definitely I saw Joan Jett when she was starting out. Uh, she didn't have a warm welcome from the crowd. I don't know why, because I was a real fan and to me it was, hey, she's a, she's a woman, she's, got, she's good looking, she's a great rocker, she has a great voice, she plays guitar, and, but people didn't really accept her in the beginning. Of course, she became really famous later on. There were other groups I can't really remember, could have been the English Beat maybe, Specials, uh, Talking Heads, but uh, it was great. And also, uh, near my university there was a bar called, I think it was called The Edge. And when we used to walk from uh, the electronics uh, engineering building to the main building, we sometimes stopped at the bar because they had a, the first platinum album that the police received, they gave it to them because apparently in the early days they had played in that bar. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, put the thumbs up, like. If you haven't joined that, join the, uh, the channel. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next week. And we'll continue in alphabetical order. And I, I'm saying goodbye with uh, Pink Floyd. For my bro, wish you were here.